Like most video game critics, my girlfriend isn't actually very good at video games. <laughs> it's true! We're so lame! But she reviews what we call the backseat gaming experience, which is evaluated by how enjoyable a game is to watch and how it makes the player behave. For more than a year, that player was me. Should we look at some models and see if we can zoom in on some titties? Don't say that! <laughs> and I may have gone too far in a few places. He does have a butthole look at it. However, there is one franchise that my girlfriend loves intensely. Look at the flower crown! Oh, look at the people! Friends! And absolutely must play for herself. That's why our comment sections have been relentlessly demanding that I perform a boyfriend review. And it would not be really funny to make them wait any longer. Duh. So, this isn't a review of Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is a review of what it's like to live with someone who plays Animal Crossing New Horizons. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Watching my girlfriend start this game was like being her date at a reunion, where every time one of her old besties showed up, Oh my god! Oh my god! She would cheer and forget that I was there, and instead of explaining her lifelong relationship with these characters, Mabel! She'd basically just say, It's a big club, and you ain't in it. Then go back to swooning over some British guy. Hi! I miss you. Oh. You guys, I have shown her Link saving Hyrule, Kratos raising a son, and Arthur Morgan saying, oh, But apparently none of that compares to Isabel just existing. Oh, she runs in. Oh my gosh. Look at her little shoes. My girlfriend is so immersed in fake friends right now that she talks about them like they're real people. So when she told me someone named Nate gave her a springy ride on, I was like, What did you say? But that's the essence of Animal Crossing. It's a social life simulator practically based on the lyrics to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for neighbors. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? And similar to his show, Animal Crossing teaches children that loving people and animals and the world we live in is the most important part of being alive. The only difference is that of all the beautiful feelings Mr. Rogers gave children deep down inside, money problems wasn't one of them. I am never gonna financially recover from this. And that brings us to the gameplay. Ultimately, it's about setting personal goals around interior design or city planning, but in New Horizons, freedom of creative expression isn't free. The cost is time and bell requiring hours of manual labor such as fishing, custodial work, farming, excavation, and pest control. Shoot. Oh god, I'm stressed. Oh crap! The biggest issue with watching my girlfriend do all that is it's not fun. <laughs> This is the dullest moment I've ever experienced. The most consistent profits come from a money rock that appears once a day and trees that produce fruit every three to six days. And because the game takes place in real time, those are literal days, meaning Animal Crossing is 80% fishing. The only way to speed up the process and unlock all the game's fundamental mechanics before I kill myself was by rolling the calendar forward in the console settings, which she refused to do, so anytime she funded a large project, I was like, uh, this gonna cost us 51 years. It was only on the second day, when all of her hard work paid off and she could finally afford a brand new, empty room with chair, that I failed as a backseat gamer and reminded her that two players can share a single island. Well, did it work for those people? <laughs> no, it never does. I mean, these people somehow delude themselves into thinking it might, but... <laughs> but it might work for us. It didn't. She made me buy my own copy after reports from all around the world said that trying to share an island is what caused the breaking of the Fellowship. It is a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. Now that I've started a village for myself, though, I can't really see why households with only one switch are fighting. But I guess if I had a kid and he used my money rock... I'd stab him! 
Unfortunately, for the online multiplayer, we quickly realized that Nintendo prepared absolutely nothing for multiple people to actually do. The world is just so interactive. You know? <laughs> it's not like it would be cool to, you know, I don't know, build a tennis court and play a tennis mini game. That wouldn't be fun. <laughs> when I visited her island, I was welcomed with a you are stinky sign. Then she gave me a garden gnome and told me not to touch anything, which was her way of saying, I'm gonna pay you hundred dollars to f off. So I disappeared completely and it was my favorite part of the game. Where are you? I don't know. You'll never find me. 20 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> when she visited my island, she touched everything. No. <laughs> Making the option to open my gates for visitors feel about as productive as having the option to set a gremlin loose. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. You're fishing on my fishies and stuff. Oh yeah, right. Like you don't have enough fishies. <gasps> what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What is that thing? It's an oar fish. I want it. I've never got it. I'm keeping it. No, it's on no, my island. No, I'm keeping it. What the hell? <laughs> Go keeping, give it to my guy. I'm keeping it. Why should I keep it? Lastly, I want to talk about why I gave up on Animal Crossing altogether. And it's not because my villagers hate me. <gasps> what? <laughs> Burn. I'm a five-star man! Listen, if you guys ask for boyfriend reviews, you're not going to hear about how adorable I think the graphics are or how awesome the music is. <laughs> You're gonna hear unreasonably strong opinions about trivial stuff. Number one, why do I have to go in the community center and use this thing to buy a plane ticket? How about the airport sells those and we don't involve a snack machine all the way across town in this transaction? Number two, why do I have to stop, open the item wheel and equip something to vault over rivers and climb up ledges? These are one press or less situations. There are three unused buttons on my controller and how dare you? Number three, why do I take a moment to ask myself if I should craft something? If I just answered that question by a approaching a crafting station and interacting with it. And while we're on the subject, let me craft multiple items at once. Let me craft any required items automatically if I have the materials. Let me access materials stored in my home from the workbench in my home. And let me press a button down here to enter customization instead of backing out and touching the thing I was just using. Number four, why does every fish I catch continue to be shown off and identified with a pun even if I've already caught 100 of them today? To answer this question, I called a local bait shop. Hey, when you're out fishing with your buddies, do they ever say anything like, I caught a string fish, five more, and I'll have a guitar fish? Shit, no, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. And I'll stop at number five. Why the f*** is he here? After all the repetition and inconvenience that frequently wasted my time, was suddenly polluting the sky, land, and sea with eggs supposed to be fun? The following footage contains the moment in which I, a grown man, regrettably lost his temper while playing a baby game. I don't like Easter. <laughs> I don't want these eggs. This sucks. In conclusion, Animal Crossing New Horizons is my girlfriend's favorite game right now, and that makes me really happy. But my job is supposed to be rating what it's like to watch, so I'm sorry, but... I guess everything's okay. All right, that's enough of that. I'm back for the ad read. I love Animal Crossing. Matt is a cranky old man, and here's a word from our sponsor. Creating a website for your business with Squarespace is super easy. Using any of their beautiful templates, you'll quickly be the owner of a website with full access to analytics like page views, traffic sources, and more. Want to make sure your business is being seen by the right people? Squarespace uses all the best practices for search engine optimization without needing any extra plugins. In addition to configuring third-party domains, customers can purchase domains directly directly from Squarespace. Create a powerful visual experience on your website using video backgrounds. Communicate with customers using Squarespace's integrated commenting system. Schedule posts in advance and enjoy the extra time you have to focus on your business. Squarespace makes it so easy, even a goose could do it. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your website, check out squarespace.com slash girlfriendreviews and add code girlfriendreviews for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.